My name is Mahogany Bell. This was three years ago. Bless is actually three years old now. My experience was a very, very great experience, and it did relieve like a lot of stress and stuff. What I would do is once I leave work on a Tuesday or Thursday, um, we would get there and they would have the balls ready for a pregnant woman. If you want to rotate on the balls to relax your muscles and stuff, they would have a chair ready for you, a rocking chair ready to put your feet up and stuff. And they would have like different little things for you to do to relax your mind, paintings and different things of that sort. Um, another thing they do is they have people who like donate them clothes and diapers and stuff. My job at Durham's Maternity Stress-Free Zone is to make sure that the services which are needed in the community, primarily individuals who are black and brown, and now we've included Native and Asian, um, receive the same ser services that the majority community receives. And when I say that, I mean those of an affluence that have money and the means and the insurances that pay for those type services. We don't exclude anyone. So my job is to even out the playing field. really phenomenal. Um, I was really surprised and shocked because there were so many other mothers there and everybody was really nice and friendly. And it was just like really good to know that somebody's out there caring about you while you're pregnant and they are willing to help and support you. So that right there alone itself that had me very excited. And they, they were different ages. So you had like one that was like older, she had a lot of you know experience and you had one who she was kind of younger at my age and she had as many kids as I did. So it was like, I was getting all different types of experience from the different women that they had there. We're responsible of paving uh, a path for this family to travel during their um, pregnancy journey. Um, and our job is to make sure that they have the best type of outcomes possible for their situation. Every mom and every family and every situation are not going to be the same, and that might be from pregnancy to pregnancy. So our job is to make sure that mom receives the best outcome for that pregnancy that she's um, going through at that period of time. I was able to link with a doula, which is someone who helps you during your pregnancy, helps you with your needs, um, help relax you and things of that sort. A doula's relationship with the families that they work with, you know, primarily it's going to be the mother because that's the individual who's carrying the baby, but we don't exclude anyone in the family. We're that trusted voice as we are hearing more and more. Um, Miss Augusta, which was assigned to me as a doula, she walked me through my whole pregnancy from the time I went to the hospital um, to the time I had blessed. Um, and she was, it was really good and for me because his dad was there, but <laughs> he probably was more scared than anything. So her being there was like a great hope. She was able to keep both of us at a relaxed pace and help me through that hard time, especially going through contractions during that time. Um, they will also cook for dinner for us, so we would eat dinner there as well. People who have been on their grind all day long, working, taking care of children, if we can give them two evenings a week where they did not have to prepare that meal, where they did not have to consider going out purchasing something. Where somebody else is cooking dinner and helping you out, giving you that little break, Having that type of support, um, it's, it means a lot. And the one thing that we found out from the moms is that we were actually supplementing their meals and supplementing their income that nobody could take that away from. Nobody could penalize them for coming here because we were not actually giving them um, cash money that could be counted against whatever federal or, or county program that they may have been involved in. And another thing that I like is um, they had people there that came and talked to us about breastfeeding and things of that sort and how they would help us and walk us through the whole 
duration um, of their pregnancy. Back in 2013, um, there was a doctor who was a pediatrician, she's retired now, Dr. Regina Benjamin, who declared the lack in breastfeeding among African American women as a national crisis. Um, even afterwards, once I went home, um, Miss Augusta, which is one of Miss Diane workers, she would come and bring me fruits and different juices and things of that sort, uh, which helped a lot. And then we continued to go to the program. I contracted from 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I actually got kicked out from work. They said, you're not having a baby here today. <laughs> and um, I went home, and I was still going through contractions. So, um, by the time I got to the hospital, it was maybe like nine o'clock at night, and um, I was still going through the contractions, and I hadn't got any type of help, like an epidural or anything like that, to help smooth over the contractions. So, um, Ms. Augusta was able to talk to me calmly, um, help me learn how to breathe. If she wasn't there, I probably would have been breathing crazy. Um, <laughs> probably would have been telling the daddy off because <laughs> he, <laughs> he probably wanted to know what to really say or do because he was kind of like over in the corner but he was like peeking and stuff. So um, Miss Augusta also helped me like they have like a stress relief ball that you kind of roll on um, because about, about this time it's like going on one and two o'clock in the morning and my contractions were getting stronger and stronger. And so um, she was able to like really you know, calm me down and walk me through it. And I don't, I didn't have him until 12 o'clock that next day. So um, I didn't get any medicine until like maybe 11 o'clock that day. So I was contracting from all the way from four o'clock to 12 the next day. So um, my body was completely out of it. I couldn't even really take it anymore. And if, if it, I believe, really believe it wasn't for her there helping, it probably would have been even more you know, bad for me. But because she was there, it was way more, less stress. And she was able also to talk to the nurses and them when I wanted to express what it was I was feeling and stuff. So that was really good. African American women die at a three to four times greater rate giving birth um, in American hospitals um, than any other nationality or racial group in the United States of America. Things are automatically assumed about African American women that are not necessarily true. And African American women find themselves in very stressful situations um, that when they go into labor, different things occur in our body. Our body responds to stress. Um, the baby responds to stress. So if mom goes in in a heightened, stressful state, God only knows what could happen during the birth of that child, considering if no one's listening to her. Last time there were people there, but it's like people would be more excited to see the baby. They're not really paying you no attention. They just want to hurry up and see the baby come out. So they're not really being concerned about how you're feeling and things of that sort. Um, and this time it was different. It was more concerned of how I felt, what was going on with me, and hey, I'm really here to help you. And um, she was even like able to regulate who was coming in the room. Sometimes people just pile up in your room. And it's like, you don't know what to say or do because <laughs> you in so much pain and stuff. So she was able to like even mediate that for me. So that was like really, really good too. So it, kept, it really helped kept my stress down. Doulas will remain in a mom's life for as long as mom needs her. We usually enter into mom's life when she makes her announcement that she's pregnant. May it be two months, may it be four months, may it be six months. The doula enter into mom's life teaching and educating and showing mom the appropriate things that should be done through that pregnancy. Um, a doula is a support person. She looks at mom's situation across the board. She doesn't pass judgment on anything that she sees going on in that household, but she is that source that mom knows, and dad too, and the other children, because we've had other children, the children, the siblings um, of a mother say to us, I'll never forget one day we were here in the room and um, one of the children walked over and said, Reverend Hope, and I go, yes baby, what do you need? And he goes, go over and talk to that lady. I believe she's stressing out there, go to tears. 
So even the children being in the room, they absorb everything that we share with mom. And that is one of the things that we try to teach mom. When you stress, your whole entire family stresses. So it's like having that type of support was like really great. I think my first two kids, I didn't have that kind of support. And I would definitely like recommend for people to get help and have a doula, somebody to be there for you um, during your pregnancy and even afterwards. So it didn't stop once I had them. You still are allowed to go to the program um, and get any type of help that you need with your child. There were, I met a lot of mothers there who um, spoke on things that they needed help with raising their child and stuff like that. So it was like really good for me because it was 16 years later and now I'm having a, <laughs> a baby. So I had to learn how to be a mom all over again. When this young lady came to our program, it was quite evident that she was under a lot of stress. And you know, pregnancy will do that too. I mean, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. It's one of the major events in our lives. And what I can say, about the end of her journey is that by the time she gave birth to her baby and by the time she returned back to allow us to see her child, it was evident that love reigned and that the stress was totally gone. So we did our job. I will re definitely recommend this program to them. It will definitely help relieve a lot of stress for them. and having a support team maybe some people don't even have a support team at all this will be a great avenue to having a support team